Hi everybody, Sheer here with you. Welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to share with you some items that I picked up on a recent trip to Michael's. I got in on some of their 80% off sales again. I was really lucky. And of course I found some other things as well. And at the end of the video, I'm going to also tuck in a few things that I found at my favorite scattered goods store, a little store here in my local town uh, that I absolutely love going into and I hadn't been there in a while. So I found some great things there as well. So if you're interested in seeing what I picked up, make sure you stick around. So these first two items are items that I got in on the 80% off. Those items had definitely been picked over, but I did manage to come out with a couple of things that I thought were great finds. This first one is just this little candle set. You get three of them in here. Um, that's what they kind of look like. They've got that nice kind of amber glow to them. Now these don't have wax. They are definitely all plastic. I took them out of the box just to see what they were like. Now these were originally, look at this, $30 Canadian. There's no way I would pay $30 for, you know, just, it is what it is. I mean, they're nothing special. There's not even any timers on these ones. So um, like $30, no way. But for $6, which is what I paid for them for with the 80% off, I thought that was a pretty decent deal. So this next item is actually a repeat buy for me, but I didn't get it for 80% off the first time I bought it, that's for sure. Um, look at this. I bought one of these for my sister because she's definitely, she loves gardening. She has her own greenhouse. She's definitely got a really good green thumb and I really, really loved it. I just, I there was something about it. I just thought it was so cute. So originally this was $26 Canadian. Uh, I think when I bought hers, I got in on a 40 or 50% off sale. Uh, so I didn't pay regular price for it. I would never pay $26 for something like this. So I ended up paying with the 80% uh, off. This came to $5.20. Oh my goodness. What a steal of a deal that is. And this actually lights up. There's a little, like there's batteries in the back here and it lights up and it kind of gives it a kind of a neat little orange glow. And yeah, I can't wait to do something with this. I think it's going to be really fun to make a little fairy garden out of this for sure. This next item Megan actually found and she really wanted. So this was $5, so you get four paints. So it basically works out to $1.25 um, for each bottle, which is basically what we pay here at Dollarama or, or Dollar Tree. So I didn't think that was too bad. And I really actually really like these little pastel color sets. So we grabbed that. So they had a lot of those buy one, get one free deals going on in the store. And so I came across these ribbons. I just thought they were so pretty. Now on the container here, it says that these were $4 each. But when I looked at my receipt, they actually rang in at $3. So I got two of these for $3, so $1.50 a roll. And there is three yards or 2.7 meters on each of those. So I think these are gonna be great for fall decorating for sure. So you guys know me pretty well. I have a hard time going to Michael's and not coming out with a bunch of fairy garden related items, especially if there's a sale going on. I held myself back pretty well, but there was a couple of Halloween items that I just had to have. So this first one, I actually used my coupon on. I had a 40% off coupon. I just thought she was so adorable. Look at her. So she was $10, so I paid $6 for her. I thought that wasn't too, too bad. And then this last item, oh my gosh, I just, I had to have this. Um, and the house that I had before, we, Megan and I moved here, uh, we had a big tree out front and I would put a crash witch on that tree every single year for Halloween and the kids in the neighborhood just loved it, thought it was so awesome. And when I saw this, I just, I had to have it. So this was actually originally $17 Canadian. So there was a 40% off with of these as well. So this one ended up being... $10.20. Maybe a little more than what I'd like to pay for something like that. But you know what? When you love something, and I didn't want to wait for this to go on sale, I don't get to Michael's very often. And chances are something this cute isn't going to stick around anyways. So sometimes, you know what? You just got to go for it. And if you love it, just pay the money for it. <laughs> Not full price though. I would never pay full price for anything at Michael's. But anyways, I think that's going to be a really cute, sweet addition to a little Halloween inspired fairy garden. So make sure you stay tuned for that coming up. And that is everything that I purchased at Michael's. So let me show you what I got at Scattered Goods. So the first item is just this little shadow box. I thought this would come in handy. It's nice and deep um, for some kind of a project. And I like that it's got these here on the side so that you can easily open it up and you can put lights in here. You could do some little scene in here. I'm thinking maybe trying to use my Cricut and doing something with this. So yeah, I'm excited to try something with that. That was only $2.29. I thought that was a pretty good deal. 
then I stumbled upon these adorable little Scrabble tiles. So you get, let's see here, there's 26 pieces in here. I'm kind of kicking myself now that I didn't pick up another bag because there's only going to be one of each letter in here. Um, but I could actually just use them and then make my own um, letters with stencils or even stamps or with my Cricut. I can make some little cut out vinyl letters. But anyways, I thought those were really cute. And these were only $1.49. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. Like I said, I should have probably got another package of those, but I can always go back. <laughs> so Scattered Goods has an amazing craft section. Oh my gosh, I could spend a lot of time and a lot of money in there. But I, again, I was trying to be good. But I did find these. I'd never seen those in that store before. They're just like little mini little what are they calling these grapevine wreaths they're only two inches so again these would be perfect for fairy gardening you could put these on a little house decorate it up you know make like a little wreath a little mini one for like christmas or fall or whatever i think those will be really really cute i picked up a bag of these little willow wooden stems that's what they're calling them these were a dollar 49 these would make great little stems for like all those fabric pumpkins that everybody's been making. You could paint them or stain them. I also thought that these would be great, like kind of stacked up like a little wood pile for maybe like a little less, uh, you know, fairy garden scene. Anyways, all kinds of things you could use these for. So I was really happy to find those. And the last item that I picked up was just this adorable little birdhouse. Oh my gosh, this was also $1.49. This just screams like Alpine ski village little house to me. Um, I'm thinking of painting it maybe brown and then doing like white and put some of that fake snow on here with some glue. I think it'd be really cute. You could use it, it'd make a really nice little ornament for the tree or you could also put it on a tiered tray or I don't know, you could even use it in a fairy garden too. Anyways, I think that'll look really super cute when it's all decorated up and uh, yeah, maybe even a little bird here on the outside. Anyway, I will figure out something for that. And that's everything that I have to share with you guys for today. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And until next time, I'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now, everybody.